Will you sign this petition to take judicial retention elections out of the Iowa Code? What is a judicial retention election? Every six years, judges are on the ballot and people vote on whether they stay on the bench. What's wrong with that? We have to keep politics out of the courts. But what if a judge is doing a bad job? We have hundreds of judges in Iowa. Surely one of them is bad at his job. They are all doing a great job. You look like a lawyer. Yes. So your livelihood depends on judges liking you. Yes. But they are still all doing a great job. Iowa has the best judicial selection system in the country. Judges are selected based on merit, with no politics. The most qualified candidate is always selected. How long have we had the system? 49 years. And in 49 years, the second best candidate has never once gotten the job? Not once. <laughs> you say the most qualified candidate is chosen. What qualifications does Iowa set out for being a judge? You must be licensed to practice law in Iowa. And? You must be in good standing with the Iowa Bar. Meaning? Meaning you haven't been disbarred. My confidence is growing already. Is there some place I could find a list of criteria attorneys must meet to become judges? No. Is there an exam candidates must take to show their qualifications? No. How many years does a lawyer have to practice law before he is eligible to be a judge? There is no requirement. I see. Let's say a lawyer spends his life practicing criminal law, then becomes a judge. Is he allowed to preside over civil trials? Of course. Ouch. Who is it that decides which candidates are most qualified? There is a commission for each district that interviews candidates. Citizens have the ability to participate. How? Can we elect the members of this commission? No. Can we vote to approve or reject their selections? No. Can we vote periodically on whether their selections stay on the bench? No. I mean, yes, but you shouldn't be able to. That's political. Hence my petition. So how are citizens able to participate? You can write letters to commissioners expressing your opinions of candidates for a judgeship. Do they have to listen? No. Well, anyway, who is on this commission? Eleven people. The governor appoints five. Then the resident. Bar elects five lawyers. A judge chairs the commission. Lawyers make up about one percent of the population. Why are more than half the seats on this commission, which selects judges who will impact my life, given to lawyers? Because lawyers wrote the procedure for selecting judges. As a concerned, working citizen, I want judges on the bench who will uphold the law as written, who will work hard, who will be objective, and who will bring criminals to justice. As a private attorney who takes many court-appointed cases, I want judges on the bench who will not hold me to the rules of court, who will not make me work hard, who will remember all the favors I did them when they were lawyers, and who never sent anyone to prison, so that I will not be investigated post-conviction. It would seem that our interests are at odds. Yet while people like me are the majority, people like you are guaranteed a majority on the Judicial Nominating Commission. A commission I do not elect, which appoints judges I do not elect, whose orders I am expected to obey without question. Iowa has the best judicial selection system in the country. Our judges are appointed on merit, with no politics. How would you like to appear in front of a judge knowing that your adversary gave the judge a big campaign contribution and you didn't? Hmm. And that's why we have a commission pick the judges? Actually, the commission picks two or three candidates to send to the governor. The governor picks the judges from the pool. Well, how would you like to appear in front of a judge, knowing that the only reason he's a judge is that he gave the governor a big campaign contribution? For that matter, how would you like to put your name in for a judgeship, knowing that your competitor gave the governor a campaign contribution and you didn't? That actually happened to me once. After toiling in a firm for 30 years, I applied for a judgeship. John Brown was golfing buddies with a judge who was about to retire. When he put his name in, the judge postponed his retirement to chair the commission. It came down to the two of us. 
John had only practiced for five years, but he had helped run the governor's campaign. I was most qualified, but he had all the connections. You might say it's not what you know, but who you know. It's true. It's very true. That sounds suspiciously like politics to me. It would seem that the merit-based system you think removes politics has merely moved the politics behind closed doors and out of the public view. Come to think of it, isn't there a strong correlation between the party of the governor and the party of new judges? Actually, yes. During the Culver and Volsic administrations, 53 out of 83 new judges were registered Democrats. Up until November of 2010, all seven Supreme Court justices were registered Democrats, or had been until taking the bench. So really, the current system is no less partisan than having elections. The only difference is that the citizens have no say in the matter. I can't believe I drank the Kool-Aid for so long. It's funny you should say that. I happen to have a petition with me in support of retention elections. Will you sign it? No. Why not? I'm afraid of what might happen if the judges knew I did. I see. Well, maybe one day, there will be a lawyer with the guts to tell the truth. I hope so. Maybe he'll make a movie. <laughs> <laughs>